Take it away, Tsunami. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Game 2 and the long reign of King Jenkins III on the series SGD, Sterling Global Dragons versus Team EVOS. Yeah! yeah. Where did that energy come from? I don't know. It's his last game already. It's his hey. last game. <laughs> My God. Hey, look, look, look. The Lord. Yeah. Again. I'm going to show you game. how I walk. What? That's how you walk? Uh, who? Who walks like that? Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor, that's right. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll be, I'll be Khabib. Dear Lord. I don't know. That just come out of nowhere. I feel like I got to do something for you in the last game. <laughs> so, he's yeah, not a wizard. Uh, he's a jester, the scam. <laughs> good. Yeah. Well, uh, well, you can do something for me right now, and that's uh, put segueing us into the draft. You're not supposed to make it that obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get an actual spell this Let's time? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. There it okay. is. Ooh, Treant Necro coming in hot. We're in for a long game just because you have a tree. <laughs> that stupid tree, man. Five seconds remaining. Healing towers, healing heroes. Tree to good man. <sighs> oh, there's the counter Necro pick. Get it. Get that necro. <laughs> no one's impressed. That's good. I'm spent. I hate that one. <laughs> Everyone's just like, ugh, necro. No, I'm more like, ugh, Jenkins. You oh. know? Yeah, I've heard that. Wait, can you say that I again? Uh, I've heard that one. <laughs> can what? you say that again? Just whisper it into this. Ugh, Jenkins. Yeah, dude, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Cyclops is not amused. <laughs> That's what I say. That's what I say. <laughs> oh yeah, Jenkins, that was a big load you just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we should also remind the subs about our execution later. Yeah, yeah. it is the last game. Oh, it can't be me. Yes. Oh, it is the last right. day. Are you sad? Last game. No, I'm I'm happy. You at home I'm sad who for are watching, reasons. you can subscribe to. Beyond the Summit, the Twitch channel itself, you can do your Amazon Prime or whatever it is that Ninja and people say, but don't spend it on them, spend it on us, because we will acknowledge you. One of us will be executed on your behalf, you get secret access to a Discord room in which you can vote on who to kill, and then your name pops up on the screen, and the person who dies has to read it. So, it's a great privilege. Make sure that if you are an anonymous user, of, of Twitch and you're now making an account, just as many letters and sc scrambled. Just absolute gibberish. Hard, as hard to read as possible. Or, or, some, had, or some profanity. You had like the worst name, not the worst, but you had like some of the craziest names yesterday. Yeah, like Jenkins. And my mom and calls me Andrew. And then there was Drew. someone, I think they literally just put like random numbers and, and letters. And there was someone with like the underscores. My dad calls me remember? random numbers and letters sometimes. <laughs> Does that mean you're... Son number three, <laughs> get over here. <laughs> He's got dementia. <laughs> I forget who I am. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, lots of green heroes being picked. Uh, some of them are trees, some of them are skeletons and old men. Um, so why did Nyx Assassin become first phase ban? He was usually getting let go through, but then now Necro is getting let go through. I, I don't know what is with these Southeast Asian teams and Nyx, man. Yeah. They're just like, oh, wait a minute. We can not max Impale, so this hero's really good. I, I actually think that's it. Like, people are going max into the Carapace in some games. Yeah. Most games. Most games. And then in other games, people are going max into the Mana Burn. Like, very few Nixes are actually maxing the the stun. Unless there's, like, some specific reason that you need that extra stun duration and uh, damage. Yeah, only if you are needing it for the setup or whatever. Like, the less track lanes that we see every once in a while. Right. But uh, against against you know Pugna and Necro, they're they're maxing the the other spells, and just acting as a counter. You know, that Nyx was really strong in the meta when we saw like OD picked a lot. Like o it was yeah. OD Invoker Lina were some of the best mids, and you just pick that hero and it's like you in Storm, like it, it counters every int hero basically. Yeah. Mm. So you you pick it in a meta where there are these really strong first phase in heroes and it just makes the whole game so hard for them. Speaking of OD, why are teams not picking OD? Yeah, anymore? I was about to because ask that. <laughs> because if you 
cast Arcane Orb like five times on that hero, you will not have any mana. Like you actually run out of mana until you get the mana talent. Like so the math just isn't good on it. Yeah, they had they had one of the biggest issues was that they nerfed it so that if you miss your Arcane Orb uphill, it still costs mana. And so in the mid lane matchup, that was especially important because usually you could cast Arcane Orbs for free and it would be no penalty whatsoever. You were almost incentivized to hit them from the low ground. So in other words, evasion is... It's factored into the mana cost right, now. They, they, they changed it so that it costs mana on the cast of it rather than on the hit. Correct. Which I don't know why it was ever on the hit. Like I think it was because it was getting int back. I th I, yeah, I was going to say, I think when they changed that, right. that's when that became a thing. I think so as when well. When they reworked the spell, because before... It was on cast. It, it was on cast. Because I remember Pugna Netherward, which is another reason why OD is not very popular, because Pugna is very top tier. Oh yeah, Pugna it's destroys such a big that change, girl. man. And then after that change hit, I, I remember, it's all gone. No. I, yeah. I, I, used to uh, I used to scream, like, uh, uh, say the Eclipse more than 30, 40 times a day back then because everyone just speak all the yeah. astral imprisonment all the time. And That's then quite all possibly I <laughs> one of the worst heroes in Dota right now. Yeah. It's it, it, You cannot function as... Like, the, the, the reason that that hero works is because you have infinite uh, mana. I think if you're getting to like five strength heroes then it's viable. <laughs> but That's maybe, key. yeah. I mean yeah. who drops? Like five even people heroes. picking it into Ember, you just have the lane cutter yeah. and then you lose the game because the hero I is useless. Completely useless. Alright. You guys name one hero that, you're not the key. that in the past four years never been picked in competitive scene at all. No matter how Pat Shane buff nerf. Like never you mean been never been top phase? tier? Yeah. Ne never been picked, never been get into mainstream techies. Yeah, Grimstroke. <laughs> yeah, Grimstroke. I was gonna say, should I, should I say like all the newer <laughs> heroes because the they've never played? Um. But but but, but techie is like too obvious. Yeah, it's, it's I don't think yeah. Viper has ever been top tier. He's just been average. Like he's sort of there, but he's never really been. The hero that you. If he has, it was, been, it was for like a week or two. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, remember a Viper meta. Yeah. Um. Oh, well, I got a C two. Um. Support pretty much have been picked a there lot. There was the Viper Ra Viper Razor, Net Death Prophet meta. It was like all the all the cancerous run at you heroes. Yeah, but he was never first phase. It was only if Death Prophet and Razor, and Razor were like were banned. already banned yeah, or picked yeah. or something like that. Yeah, and that was back when there's only two bands. So. Yeah, that's also true. You want to an answer this question? You just think about a hero that when they picked it, and we'd be like, "Wow!" Bristleback has never been top tier, I don't think. Coming out sometimes when they have to deal with a lot think, of ma magical. I've spell. never seen a first phase bristle. Well, I have, but like only like bristle in wisp. Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Like it's, it's like in combos. It's not just like, "Oh, wow, bristle's an, an amazing hero." Yeah. It's like bristle is an amazing. Pet for Colorado. Right. Not Wisp. only us that can <coughs> guess. Uh, feel free to type it down in the chat. Maybe you guys have better idea than us that a hero that never been in a competitive scene before just type it down. So are you gonna read it from yeah. the chat? What? They're delayed you know. though. Yeah. Yeah. I just so uh, so other viewers could see. Uh, I want to see. What about Oracle? Oracle's uh, or been pretty good. There used to be heal strats that were very Oracle popular. Oracle used to have his heyday, but if you don't want to include the heyday, then I'm pretty sure I think, you just I think never Oracle, see him. I think Oracle's just as valid as like a Bristle or a Viper. He's never exactly because maybe you know with Huskar, like there's certain right, strats. Huskar, there were definitely him. there was some Omni Knight Oracle that was popular for a while. I think I used Oracle yesterday in pops. How'd that go? Uh, yeah, it's it's good. He he's still strong with his. Last He's pretty good. Last Actually, hit. <laughs> I mean the the K K S <laughs> go in K S with the the first skill. Yeah, it's great. Man, that is that is so easy to kill somebody. <laughs> you yeah. do a lot of damage on that hero actually, because you can you can use the purifying flames and then Q and then yeah. purifying flames again, and it's just like seven hundred first, and then just right. Hmm. Speaking of heroes that have like never really been popular, we've never really seen Arc Warden come off as like a super strong pick. Yeah. Yeah. Never first face contested. I mean, even he's, if it he's is newer, but no one. But he has been picked a few times him. in this tournament. Yes. Yeah, but it's because the niche players that play him pick him. Like, we never really see this hero outside of C. Because I, I know In Your Dreams plays him for sure. I think a lot of the cheese picks would fall into, like, that category. Like, you never really see first face Huskar. You never really see 
first phase brood. Other... Huskar was top tier for a while though, because oh, he was... was when they changed the heal. When, I was thinking more whenever his mat his spell uh, resistance was like insane, and it used to be like ninety nine percent. I don't think it had yeah. a cap, or if it did have a cap, it was like basically I don't know. You, whatever the case, Armlet was really good back then, and his spell immunity or spell resistance was like incredibly high. God, can you believe that at a certain point, Armlet instantly gave you yeah, man, that's, all of the that's HP. Crazy. <laughs> How is that remotely okay? And we were talking about earlier. At one point, there used to be power runes at zero minutes in the river. You could just get a haste rune and free first blood. God, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. God damn. I uh, know, those were dark days. That oh yeah, I was talking about Trent, not you. Not all you Canadians kind of blend together. I did it think heroes. I think every Agi hero has been picked. Every Agi hero chance. has been picked. Yeah. I would say that maybe Clinks is the lowest of the top tier. If he ever had a peak, it was kind of low. But no, I that. think Bloodseekers. Clinks recently. No, I'd say Bloodseekers less than Clinks. In terms of first phase? Oh, if you mean first phase, then no, never mind. Clinks would never be first picked. Right. Clinks, like in the pr in the most recent patch, at least in NA, Clinks has been like first phaseable, before he got nerfed. Like it was only for a couple of weeks. Right. But Clink Clinks was up there, like in TI. Like start of TI. No, ever, first ever. phase of TI in Chantress. Yeah, but it was banned all the time. Enchantress was banned in like ninety percent of games. Yeah, in Enchantress stages. was really popular at one point. I mean, Clinks is also was considered <coughs> a counter to Enchantress too. Oh. So you just strafe. Yeah, goes. Do you know that Zeus is the highest win rate heroes in the two right now? No surprise there. Yeah, that hero's really good. Yeah, yeah. but you know, I I I kind of surprised though because he always lose the lane in the early game mm -hmm. because of he only have like the chain lightning to last hit. And when when you're gonna deal with a hero that have a very fast animation and high base damage, he surely go for something like level six and the other heroes level eight. And then and then you you come up with just last hit with the um rod of Zeus. Well the the way the way that Zeus is played now isn't actually with like the arc lightning. Like the way that the way that Zeus is usually played now is that you use the um the W to harass in the lane and then you use the, the right clicks. To last hit, like when when this hero came back into the meta, it was like there was two things. Uh, number one, the W was changed so that it does 125 or 100, 100 It's 125 damage level one, right? It was 75 mana, now it's 90. Correct. Um, so that was changed, so that it's very effective at level one, and then the range also increases as it levels, so it's a it's just a way better ability. And then also his base damage was increased significantly, which means. You can lane without using anywhere near as much regen. Like people start with null talisman on Zeus now instead of like a bunch of clarities, which is what people would go for before. Yeah. And you, if you're losing the lane, you go for the you go for the arc lightning. But if you're winning the lane, which a lot of the time you can because the harass is so much from the W, you just use the right clicks to last it. And then once you actually have regen, then you can use. The, you uh, gotta the run arc it lightning. in a bottle, or yeah, yeah. You you definitely go bottle because the hero has such a high mana pool. You go for the arcane boots only because it builds into the ether lens. But the arcane boots are kind of useless because the mana pool is so high. That you're not going to fill that entire, you're not going to fill any small, per, you're not going to fill a percentage of that mana pool with the arcane boots. Not like a relevant percentage, you know. It's not that much. Uh, but with the bottle, it scales with <coughs> int, so you get so much more mana on uh, on int heroes when you when you use the bottle. Like it's obviously more effective on high strength heroes, high int heroes, and Zeus obviously. Tran Tranquil bottle. Yeah. Yule scepter. I don't know about Yules. Sometimes people go Yules. I know. Oh, just straight to the Agony. A lot of people they go with Kaya usually. Kaya or Aether Lens, and e then yeah. you go for the Agony. Yeah, Aether Lens, Ags is like the most the most common build, at least for like offlane Zeus. Um, for mid Zeus, probably too. The Ags is just so broken. It's just so damn good. It's about as core as the once tiny Ag was. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Back in the it's day. like at a certain point you have to, like the reason you're picking that hero is because of that. And at a certain point, Cyclops needs to bring us into this game. So go ahead and do that for us if you don't mind. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> and we're in. Well, That's good. That, that was uh, interesting. <laughs> oh, is that a side lane, Zeus? Uh, wait, oh, yeah, I run a side, side lane. Oh, Rampo is playing it. Sue sometimes. So Nastro is going with uh, the Bloodseeker. Are they dodging the Dusa? Is that what it is? I don't know. Uh, does is it 
Is does Pugna have mid items? No, it's mid uh, Bloodseeker. Mid Bloodseeker, okay. Bloodseeker definitely does well against Medusa. Right. Because uh, you don't use mana, so yeah, Mystic Snake is relevant. Right. And you just heal, so the 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 harass is is nothing. The most annoying thing about Mystic Snake is the mana steal. Especially Pers for a hero like Zeus or Pugna. Yeah, it's percentage based, so these heroes lose so much. I like that dodge. I think that's I think that's definitely a cool. Uh, Are cool we play. happy with Evos's draft? With their draft order, because the Dusa was last pick. Well, they're definitely going to win the late game, but they didn't have to pick something as hard as Medusa to win the late game. Yeah, they could have been a little bit more conservative. Hopefully, they weren't banking on it being an anti-Zeus mid lane counter, because SGD, like we were seeing, they had three mid options, and they chose the safest option. Now that I think about it, it's pretty good against the Zeus, actually, because he uses the right clicks to deny and to last hit, and uses all of his mana using W's to harass, but you're just standing right on the wave. This hero has like such a small attack range that the Dusa would actually just snake him every single time. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that's why they're sending the Bloodseeker. Man. Right. Presumably this is like a known matchup, uh, maybe in this region or in scrims, or maybe these players are just better than I am, and I didn't think of the, <laughs> the counter. <laughs> oh, wait, there's something to do with the top. Uh, mid? Oh, they man, the first. double, the double Damn, gambit? Dude. Man, uh, who are they sending mid? Necro? Necro. Necro. And that's oh, pretty good against Bloodseeker. Oh, that is good against Bloodseeker. Oh. We've seen that matchup. Okay. I wonder if they're going to change lanes if they see that. There are no Don't wards placed so. yet. God damn. No, they the put, there's games. one in the middle lane. But oh, it's, yes, not, it's not going to spot out the Necro first, so they won't expect this. Wow. Okay, so this is interesting. Why you will see the supports. If he sees Macy, then they're at least going to know what the top matchup is. Although, unless Vaichu dies here, and that could be really bad. I mean, he's a tanky ogre, but with three heroes? Can he, can he get out? It seems like he might. Or is he just going to pincer himself into the trees? He's going to eat no, his way gonna through. he's going to eat his way out. Ooh, he's fine. The beauty of ogre. Okay, I have a decree. Yes? While the primal split is active, Tsunami has to do play-by-play. While the rupture is active, Cyclops has to do play by play. What if both are playing? It's whatever was the last one. Cyclops, don't be so hard on yourself. You're better than that. <laughs> and then uh, for me, we'll do uh, overgrowth. So for how long do you oh, play by play Oh, very for? long duration, my man. Overgrowth. <laughs> yeah, but you're, ru you're rupture. Overgrowth is four seconds. I know, he's being sarcastic. Ah. Uh, Rupture, Rupture <laughs> is 12 seconds, Cyclops. Um, Primal split is 16, 18, 20 seconds. I don't think it would seconds. be a big team fight. Uh, they they probably use... Oh, Rupture man, and they send the, end up sending the Zeus mid. And he's also pretty boned by Necro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, he has to use the Arc Lightning to last it. Oh, man, this is... Evos is on point. Mm. And he denies the range creep. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh. Brutal. Do you guys remember your spells, by the way? What? No. Rupture... Primal, oh, yes, split, primal split, yeah, okay. and I'm overgrowth. You guys remember, I'm just going to have to remember I don't talk during What those. happens when all three of them are being used in... It's what whatever the most recent one was. Okay, Okay, so the newest one overrides the old one. Yep, first in. Think they all have loud noises. First in, first out. Okay. FIFO. Exactly. FIFO. Alright, looks like Nestor. FIFO Nasger. fum. Bing. I'm going to stick my thumb <laughs> in my bum. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's slight. <laughs> Master taking quite a bit of abuse in this top lane. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Is he just gonna die outright? Yeah, I believe oh so. Oh my goodness. Wow. You don't want to give first blood to a Medusa lane. That is ogre effect. He he takes a lot of damage from two from that ogre. Would you have wanted to maybe TP Nasdaq bottom instead of oh this wow. top lane? The Necro dies too. Or I mean what? the treant. Because this Ogre Medusa lane is just punishing both Vlight, uh, both um, Janual and Nazjo. I gotta keep this in my Ogre Medusa. Not bad, actually. Yeah, the problem is that, as we've all seen many times, the first team to start doing the TP thing is always at a disadvantage no matter what. Nazjo ends up committing, though. He dies and he comes right back to the top lane. So he had the choice if he wanted to swap, but ends up opting to come back into this lane. 
Oh, we see a gank in the middle lane here. I logic might be ganked out by Kirit. He's got a double damage rune. Gonna be rolling in with that snowball, but it's it's a necro. You're not really gonna be able to grab this kill. His assault too, so all of that harass doesn't even matter. Yeah, and Zeus thankfully manages to complete his bottle, so hopefully things will be relieved a little bit. Hopefully that bottle's going to be enough. We might, we, we could see ganks from, from Evos as well. I mean, they've got some really good heroes for rotations. And Azus is very vulnerable up until he hits that six when he becomes lethal. Got Januel running around in that top lane. And they go for the stun initiation onto Bloodseeker. Can they grab? They should be able to grab this kill easily. Dude. This dude can't use Blood Rage. Because if he Blood Rages to come in for a last hit, then Medusa immediately snakes. Is Januel? She shouldn't die here, it'll just take lots of damage. Yeah, Medusa's gonna need another Mystic Snake. Okay, gonna go under Invis. No wow, Sentry Ward here. Uh, yeah, he countered it out with his own Sentry. Yeah. It's good play. Bottom lane, though, gonna get a kill into Macy. Evos, I gotta say, they're, they're starting off flaming hot. They're First great. game, Evos won, right? I yes. Evos. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I, I kind of forgot who was who, to I be honest. I, I don't even know who played. I was just looking at Harry Potter stuff on my phone. Yeah. I learned a lot about Harry Potter. As did I. <laughs> it was the Drow Ranger, the Hermione Ranger. There's like a lot of characters. Which team had Hermione Ranger? It was It was the wrong team. It was, it was the Slytherin. Dire team. It was Slytherin. Slytherin. <laughs> yeah, but what was their actual <laughs> team name? Top lane, little face huggers. Possibly going to die to Januel here. Those hits from that tree. Really starting to pack a punch. Kills Bot off the snake. Lane. Bottom lane. Oh, there we go. Nice little kill onto White Mon as well. So two kills going in the way of Sterling Global Dragon. It's good to see they don't give up and strike back on top, you know, because be the fact that you have been hit two times already, it's, it's, it's so hard for your morale. And also you has low items. But yeah. That's right, Cyclops. We are watching C teams, not NA teams. Yeah, never, hey. never give up. Hey. High five. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Boost, there's a sound effect, I would, yeah. Part of this advantage is. is coming because they did not have detection for the Treant, but now Ogre Magi has wards available, and he places them. Who's going to get it first? Oh, Flight okay. Gets Flight it. gets it. Is there a sentry? No, there's no more sentries in general. Yeah, so Face Hugger can feel safe again. Might have to hug someone's face soon. We've got a Brewmaster chasing down at Kirit. Avil really, really wants this rune. Snowball's there. Gets taken by Kirit. White One's going to be able to get that rune himself. Are they really going to try and fight this out? White Mon. Oh, oh the Pugna Blast. That really hurts. Kirits will get that last hit. That's going to be a nice little kill. And just to TP out, just to make sure they don't get any more. Wow! That was a bit late. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to use the Ice Shard soon. He will. Do you want to... Yeah, okay, Snowball start. He's just really trying to buy some time here, but I think it's a little bit too late. Kirit gets scythed down. Buy Gold some time here, yeah, your extra time. Just a few seconds. Kirit is going to be looking for a team soon. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's what I think as well. He's uh, not looking too hot right now. Dude, which team won the first game? I really want to know now. I, th I think it's I'm Evos. It <laughs> None of us actually know. I <laughs> yeah, I was like, you guys surely will know. Top player, we're going to see a death on the Ogre Magi. General should get that last hit. SGD won. Oh, oh god. Oh, so, oh, so Global Dragon. <laughs> I thought Evos. <laughs> I thought it was Evos too. Sorry, guys. Oh, my lord. Middle lane, we've got a gank here onto iLogic. Remember, this is a Necrophose. He's not an easy kill, although they're going to bring a third hero in. My goodness, they really want to kill this Necrophose. Mace is going to continue chasing. 13 seconds after the life drain. Don't have enough. They need a little bit more. There's not enough mana. They couldn't get the kill onto iLogic and White Mon TPs, and it's going to save his teammate's life. God, could you imagine being a Necro versus a Pugna Zeus Bloodseeker? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like three just counters. don't just don't level up your second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, what's the point? Go for some stats, man. <laughs> what's the point? If only you could dispel it off yourself, then you get like a. Or he could get a Yule's Go shroud heal a Yule's immediately. Yeah, that'd be sick. <laughs> oh, they're so sure about getting a kill Actually, in that middle lane. Yule's would be a pretty good item, I think. It would be pretty good. 
Macy running around with Kira. It's hoping to find someone. Do, do they maybe try and kill a veal? It's it's a brewmaster. It's quite tanky. I don't think so. Just going to walk back. They wanted to grab a kill mid, but yeah, Necrophos left that middle lane. Going to give some EXP to white one instead. Medusa is kind of left all alone up here. This is perfect Medusa game with how it's going out. God, why'd they have to pick a Medusa in the last game of the day? Come on. <laughs> the monster, I'm coming down off of it now. <laughs> Ugh. Can you pass me my, my monster? Do you need another one? I do. I have one over there. <laughs> Cyclops, you pass me the monster? Oh, yeah. Oh, give me that cool, crisp drink. This? Yeah, thank you, sir. It's got coffee in it? It's monster. Monster energy. It's got everything you need. Oh, and as Joe took a whole bunch of damage there from the Medusa, taking all of it from that Mystic Snake. Can you get the kill into Nazjo? I logic here. Says, I got you, bro. Easy. And kill. he's been no. scything off cooldown. That's great though. If you can get a kill every scythe. Necro is the kind of hero that I when I see games that I will. Bottom looks like we got a brew split here, looking to grab a kill into Pugna. Oh, nice wand. Can you oh, stay he stay alive? It off. Oh, the jukes. The jukes from the Pugna. Are you still hiding? Macy's like, please. No, I have a family. He doesn't have a family anymore. When they see games Dead people don't have families. Yeah. Exactly. It's <laughs> <laughs> brutal. When I see Necro, I want to play Necro. But when I go back home at the uh, character select, I fuck off. Oh, Kirit snowballing onto the low ground. Then he runs into iLogic. He's like, what is this nonsense? And he dies. Tried to clip himself. That's right, the, a tricky spot. The ultimates are coming out soon. I have to say, iLogic is just so good with these rotations. Like, everywhere he goes, he just finds someone and he kills them. Doesn't uh, even need Reaper Scythe for every single is one. He, uh, is he a Conan? Uh, sorry? Conan. The What's Barbarian? It? Or the, the, the Irishman? No, the detective one. The anime. Oh, the detective Conan. Cause you <laughs> uh, Wait, I don't know this one. What is this? Conan the Detective? I think it's an anime. Oh is, it, is it an anime? You guys never know Conan the detective? Everywhere no. he goes, somebody dies. What? That's, That's always a case for him to just fix. I've never heard of this before. I know uh, I know Lupin or Lupin or that that's an anime. I feel just like go it's, Conan. it's an anime. It's an anime, right? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely Conan haven't watched it. Anime. Bottom lane, Aveel is gonna be hit with the life drain and the snowball. Oh, the just gets out of range. Not quite enough to kill up this panda. He is super tanky and the infused raindrop saves his life. Nice. <laughs> so it's called Cyclops <laughs> coming in with the five hundred ping sound effects. <laughs> it's called <laughs> Case Closed. For, yeah? Case Closed, also known as Detective Conan. Oh. Oh my goodness. We've got rotation here from iLogic. Is he looking for kills or is he looking for gold? It could be both. I hear a rupture. Ahem. I hear a rupture. Oh, yeah! <laughs> 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 it was, sorry, it was a bit like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I won't oh miss it, huh? Oh, yeah, there was a primal split before. You didn't cast it, That's not me. I'm the. Uh, it says on the screen. Primal split. Primal oh, split. Hey! Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, Get off me! No! Ah! <laughs> Okay, there we go. Macy dying to iLogic. They're gonna chase him down with Janiel. Do they have anything here? They've, they basically just got a tree and a very low HP Kirits. Kirits better get out of there. God, tree's not even six, thank God. <laughs> you gotta listen for their sound effect, boys. Brewmaster's fine. He doesn't need to do anything anytime soon. I don't know. He might be. He might be thirsty. He might want cure it. He's fine. If anything, the logic's gonna be the one to use his ultimates. Oh, they know, but. The logic, our Hanwell verifies that no one has any detection down here, so he's like, all right, I'll, I'll leave you. White Mon is here. He's got sentries. Oh. Oh, Jenny, oh they that? got him. They're oh. playing dumb right oh now. Oh, my goodness. The creep even gave him away as well. Oh, my God. Flattened. Global warming right TP there. TP top. Like you're going to die. Very nice kill. And Maze is going to start working down this tower as well. There's just pushing happening on both sides of the map, to be honest. Middle lane has just been dead. It's just Zeus farming and iLogic roaming around. Facehugger is rotated into the middle lane as well, doing his own farming in the jungle. What does that look like, Cyclops? Iceberg. Okay. Dude, That's literally blocked. everything looks like an iceberg to Cyclops. <laughs> <laughs> you can show him a straight line and he'd be like, iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the graph just have to be like that, you know. What can it be like? Up and down. Oh. 
Tsunami, you better get ready. We've got a Blink Dagger on Aveil, oh, and he right. wants to go into Nazjo, but he might not, not even need it. He may not have the mana if he wants to clap. Oh, there might be a okay. rupture down here, too. Oh, oh they spotted out White Moon. They knew this time. Nazjo is like, please, no, I don't want to die. Yeah, but he's going to split into it anyway. Scythe comes out. They're going to finish off that Nazjo solid scouting by the Thunder God. Wait, the Thunder God's Wrath was on his side. How'd they find uh, Bloodseeker? White Mon is just a hacker. I think, I think they saw him did go into the jungle. He did, he yeah. did. He oh, did. okay, okay. Our life just like that graph, man. Yo, or yes. Always up and down, because if whenever the graph goes straight, that means we are dead. Mine's just down since Why high school. Why are we dead? Top lane, we've got a TP in from Aveil. Ogre Magi gonna go down to Macy, straight into the life train. Aveil's like, oh, I've got no, I've got no help, bro. Instead, gonna go for a bottom kill on the bottom lane. Gonna go for this vengeful spirit. Tasty little support, but it's just a support. The tower. I mean, if you blow on that thing, that's gonna go down. Where's my man, Bloodseeker? Dead. He's bot. He's chilling. <laughs> he doesn't want to fight right now. He just respawned. Good for him. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the tree? He used overgrowth. Wasn't on camera though. He's supposed to hear it. I can't. There's so there's so many th people talking. Just start talking and we'll know. Are you sure that Sterling Global Dragons won the first game? <laughs> because <laughs> because the odds doesn't look like it in a second. Uh, yeah, they had the Drow Ranger. Oh. The, the Sterling Global Dragons. Well, Blightree might just run right into this. Oh boy. It's two versus three. Right. Hey, he's ruptured. Oh yeah, and then Warras Pan comes out and not looking good for him. He just have to stay in there. Let's do it's oh, it's no, on. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but right comes out. I'm just gonna take over the scene <laughs> fight for you. <laughs> uh, so to decrease the cringy. That one's on the house. <laughs> that was yeah. That was on Cyclops. Too. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Cyclops. We're gonna get so confused in these team fights. Well done, team. I Look at all this teamwork. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was overgrowth. Um, no. Look no, six cooldown? seconds. Yeah, six it's seconds. seconds. It's they might use it now though, so you better get ready, Jenkins. That Macy. Gonna try and run away from Vlaku and a angry Medusa. Daniel's coming in. Get ready, Jenkins. It might happen. Macy. Overgrowth comes out onto two. It's on the ogre. They don't seem to save the Pugna though. And the duration has run out, but they still lose the Pugna, like Jenkins says. The easiest cards of my life. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do uh, we'll do the whole team fight. If, you, if your ability comes out, you do the whole team fight, unless somebody else is the remainder of takes the fight. over. Right. Uh, okay. The first one go first, right? The right. first skill go first. Avil, right. gonna jump but, right onto the But then you the interrupt Zeus. if, if he splits into the neck, uh, the, the things, and he goes onto Rampo. <laughs> Snowball gonna stall out a little bit. That is a, uh, oh, he goes to the creeps, what a player, and he blocks out the uh, spirits. He's on the run, Illogic, not in range to get the scythe, but he has a Blink Dagger available if he wants to go for it. Gets the Death Pulse and the Scythe cast. Will it do enough damage? Yes, it will. He's going to get a bunch of regen. Is that me? Yes, <laughs> it's, it's you. you. Since when? Since Talk now. now. There's a oh, no, logic. I see, I see, I see. He's bleeding. Now that he's <laughs> not looking good as well. He's getting shoot by the Kari. You got to run away. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even prepare for that. <laughs> oh, uh, why do you land the ultimate on that? <laughs> I don't even... <laughs> Pay attention, Cyclops. Someone get him a monster. I, 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 I was looking at the style boards and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, f the fight ends it's and uh, <laughs> it's 11.15. <laughs> I think you need the... It'll be too late, Cyclops. It'll be like 1k ping. Yeah, I kind of lack now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your ISP is down. Me. <laughs> All right, Pugna gonna be revealing, some, revealing himself in the middle lane, and iLogic actually blinking into the river to grab the invisibility ring. It's gonna save his life. Look at Macy doing all the damage to Whitemon, just shut down by that series of life. Overgrowth comes out and onto the Necrophos. Yes, and then just Naval Blast almost kill every one of them, and did chalk him down with the chain lightning. That was pretty good fight for Sterling Global Dragons. And the rupture target down bottom dies. It was Medusa. <laughs> How do you hear that? He doesn't. He just assumed that. I, just guess. The <laughs> I, just I, I am so connected with the hero now. <laughs> Dude, he didn't even yeah, see I, the rupture. I, I was super impressed for a second. Holy shit. Oh my goodness. They take the tower down. Macy gonna try and go for the kill onto this Brewmaster. Not gonna be enough as iLogic takes him down. Aveel gets killed off by Kirin with a massive snowball, losing a massive kill streak. 
And uh, it means the, the overgrowth doesn't matter because unfortunately our king's not paying attention to swap. swap under Kirits. He's gonna try and duke this out. The they tree is it. here. The stun is there. They're still trying to run away. I think the br I think he can get out of here. Tusk is more or less safe. He keeps punching him. He can't blink. <laughs> and that's it. Haha. -ha. Fight is over. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Alright, <laughs> guys. I do not. I do not. Ha ha. <laughs> oh my God. What's that look like, Cyclops? <laughs> yeah, my life. <laughs> <laughs> Two icebergs. Oh my God. <laughs> I started from the bottom. Now I'm going up a little bit and ready to go further down to the bottom again. <laughs> <laughs> after today. Gotta gotta say, Janua's doing a really good job at scouting out as this tree. Was it Janua that played the tree the other day? That was that was really good. I think so. Yeah. This tree was legendary. That was, said, so was an actual tree player. That, that's why they first phased it, I yeah, guess. I think this you're guy's right. just insane with it. Yeah. Possibly. It's been really annoying. You actually just have to ban it. Like they place a sentry, and he's just on the other side. He's there, yeah, but they just don't see him because he's, he's just over. At oh, he might even break the smoke if he goes north. No, he doesn't. Three man's Look at his positioning though, that's so annoying. Yeah. If the courier comes, he just kills it. If he goes there right next to Face Hugger, they'll know where the tree He's is. He's actually gonna kill the courier right now. Oh, dead courier. Oh. 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 He's like, please, please give oh. me. Oh. He gets my God. the item, there's a gank in this whole plane, they're gonna go into the Bloodseeker. Nazjo gets flattened. You're safe for 72 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> And again, we're going to see the same maneuver as last game. We've got both sides swapping sides. They're just like, I'm sick of the Dire and the Radiant. I want the other team's side because it's more fair. Don't know if that's how I it really goes into the split. He's looking for this Pugna in the trees. Overgrowth comes out onto Necrophos and the Primal Split units. That's why that's a counter, ladies and gentlemen. Pugna gets all of the spells cast on him in the trees. Necrophos blows up to the Zeus, who has a haste stream. There's a snowball that comes out going through the Primal Split units. Punch comes out, finishes off the Ogre. Fight looking pretty awful for the Dire, although despite that, the Brute goes in onto the Zeus, who gets swapped back into the Medusa, focusing the Tusk, but I don't think that there's any reason to chase him further. And General again, just being an annoying tree, spotting everything out for his team. Happy days. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He's so Look at annoying. this guy. Uh, if anything, though, you got you got to say the supports on Evos, they're probably very against buying sentries right now because if they had sentries, like Clutch, they would have spotted him out from a mile away. He's stealing the He has five too. sentries of his own and a Quelling Blade. No one else, the Ogre doesn't have a Quelling Blade, the Venge doesn't have a Quelling Blade. He's going to counter those sentries before they can do anything about it. He's actually oh such goodness. a tree player. Jenna was a fan. He's a tree player, player if he gets this rune. Oh, they they scan. They know that's a partner. Oh. oh my god, I hate oh. him. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I agree. Oh my goodness. Do you imagine if he, if he was in a pub, and you were on the enemy team, you just give up. Insta tilt. Like that's so tilting. Mm -hmm. He it's just like he's on the dire team. He's always with them. Oh, well, top lane. Kira's gonna be chased down by a very angry Necroverse. Oh, they're actually the, worried about. The problem about of playing Trian in in the pub. Dude, is this is so boss. He's going into this area and he places his own Sentry. <laughs> Sometimes you are under level. Oh, you just have to stay lane until you get like a le level three. Oh, he walks in. Here. Oh, Check us they up. found him. Oh, oh. sad annual. Oh, He's gonna go down. Barely. He's provided a lot of valuable vision for his team, though. So because of that, they know where most of these heroes are on the side of Evos, and they can just farm on the other side of the map with their own care in the world. Moreover, he provides time for his teammates. Yeah, he's on the dire side the whole time, oh, but he has the global living armor, nope. so that's nighttime. all he really needs to contribute. The nighttime vision actually saving Macy's life. If it was daytime, it, the, the Medusa would have spotted oh him out. God, oh, unless careful, he just reveals man. himself. That was not the play, Macy. Yeah, the Medusa's actually just doing tons of damage somehow. You mean she's stacked? She's stacked as all hell. Yeah, I would imagine the 13,000 net worth has something to do with that. Split comes out, he goes into the blade mill, working his way over to the rupture, but he's not going to be able to get it out. <laughs> Gets the cast animation interrupted by the scythe, so You're Cyclops lucky. is safe for another 75 seconds. And they don't have detection for Hanwell, so he's going to be fine. He has a quelling blade, immediately kills that ward. Avil almost getting blocked out there, should be fine, just walks out for free. I can see all the staff is getting ready for the execution over there. 
<laughs> That's Look true. at that. This is kind of scary, man, really. <laughs> Go on yeah. down to sub to the Twitch channel. Now is your last chance for the day to kill one of us. Exactly. You have the opportunity to vote either Cyclops, myself, or Tsunami. To have their head cut off. Clearly, it's not going to be me. It'll be Cyclops or Tsunami. Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> Actually, I need, need to. Please. I need to open up my Discord right now. You're gonna vote for who? Because I gotta check my Lord's Mobile and then I gotta vote. He for also someone. can ward one ward. I know because he's right. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Freaking demon. Who subs to BTS, by the way? BTS Tsunami. subs, lol. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even sub, I got a gift sub. <laughs> oh, you got a gift sub? <laughs> yeah, okay. gift no, Shout kidding, out to man. Sid27 if Damn, he's in dude, the chat. Damn, dude, somebody gift 420 Oh, wait, Jenkins. we can also kill uh, Jeremy. Jeremy's also oh, yeah. potential oh, to be Jeremy. killed. Okay, we should kill him. I want to see Jeremy, Jeremy die going, before I leave. Jeremy. Can yeah. we please kill Jeremy? Oh, we got. Oh, oh, Jeremy's in the lead right now. Is he? I'm just putting that out there. Oh, dear. Oh, I may Jeremy. have put him into the lead with my one vote, but still, kill he's in the. Ger Jeremy. Everybody, kill. please. Kill Jeremy. Kill Jeremy. Kill Jeremy. Kill Jeremy. Why don't we stop doing this? <laughs> I guess now. Yeah. I think we all just kind of knew we're all in sync now, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Daniel just doing his regular old thing, hiding in the tree. Although this time you can tell the EVOS they're learning. They're putting sentries out. So they know what's up. They don't want this tree to spot them out anymore. Now the interesting thing about this is that EVOS are actually starting to stick together as a team. Is this sort of what you want them to do? Stick together and make sure they don't get picked <laughs> off? Yeah, sticking together because the tree. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. I just don't feel safe at all. Just buy a gem. Six sentries. <laughs> Does it have a branch though? That's the real high level t uh, tree play. Oh, we got up to the top. iLogic gonna lead the way for his teammates. So they really want to engage into this though. Rampo's hiding in the tree lines. Macy's sitting far back. Everyone's just abandoning on the side of Sterling Global Dragons. They're just going to leave it. Do you, do you really, I don't know if you want the game to draw out this long though if you're Sterling Global Dragons. You're against a Medusa. Yeah, he's getting a lot of vision, but no one's really taking advantage of it. I, I mean, they are in the sense they're like, oh cool, we're safe. The entire five-man enemy squad is protecting Medusa. But the thing is, they're not going to be safe for long when they can't kill Medusa. Right, Medusa's perfectly fine with that. He's like, okay, cool, everyone's protecting me. No one's killing me. I'm going to win late game. Are they waiting for like an ultimate? I guess they're waiting for Thunder God's Wrath. It's on cooldown for 80 seconds. I think wow. he just used it. Was Zeus, it for vision? Zeus built a Yules, and now he's going Blink Tagger. After uh, an Aether Lens. Jenkins. Do you know that what that Medusa look like? An iceberg. No. <laughs> uh, I think she looks like a durian. Why? Uh, because she's all, like, she, because she, she, she got spiky armor outside, but when that armor out or run out, she's delicious inside. But she smells really bad also, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, Daniel. Spotted again. Three for Scythe. Well. And remember, this is now an Ag's Reaper Scythe. It just got picked up by a Logic. Oh, nice. You, you can just call her Medurian. Medurian. <laughs> Medurian. Mm. Tips Fedora. Tips <laughs> Fedora. <laughs> Jacobs, oh. explain the Zeus build to me. I mean, it's fine for mid Zeus. You'll eventually get the. Oh, he chained it. Okay, he, he took the Blink Dagger out of his quick play. Yeah. Wasn't it a little bit late, though? I mean, Medusa's already gotten a BKB. I haven't cast my team fight for a while. I want to cast it. This guy can just tell your blood secrets do better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every fight. I mean, he doesn't feel confident though. He's got a radiance blade mail. His one 1.4k HP. Like he's he's actually really squishy. Yeah. I mean, radiance into a necrophage. Like that. I don't necessarily think that's the safest option. Because he could just psyche down, right? He's squishy. Uh, Thunder God's Wrath did literally nothing. Like the pipe wasn't even activated, it's just the pipe aura. Oh, smoke up coming out from Sterling Global Dragons. This might be the fight we're looking for. You guys better get ready for your ultimates. It's gonna come out eventually. Tree's dead, thank God. Tree will come back in five seconds. You watch yourself. Primal Sully comes out, Snowball connects. And a rupture. And yes, then the Rapture, oh, they almost get that Roshan walking back into the Roshan, but it's time to clean them all up. Bruntlight comes out with a double kill from Nassau 33. No, not done yet, maybe. Go for more. Make it worth a while. Since you die so many times, I just get to cast a team fight here. Overgrowth? Overgrowth comes out onto, I don't see who that is. I think it's the Brewmaster. I wasn't paying attention. It was Bruce. There's people punching the Ogre. Bloodseeker's <laughs> charging in. That Ogre is low HP, but he's just going really fast because other people were low HP and it lasts for infinity time. Medusa has Medusa. no mana. She has BKB. 
And he does have BKB ready to go. That's a nice snowball a to nice snowball. dodge. That's actually his Bloodseeker, so it's not dodging anything. And uh, Pugna survives, gets dusted. They ignore him, buy back on nobody. They just are respawning because this fight has gone so long that everybody has respawned, and I get to stop talking now. Take and away, guys. Januel is always going to be hiding in the trees, spotting things out for his teammates. Everyone's still trying to exit through, exit this team fight. They really want Roche, but there are too many heroes on the side of Evos that are alive. Do we see any buybacks for those? There were a great oh, many buybacks. I see the facts. big tree. There was two buybacks. Ogre there was one on and Zeus. Yeah, Ogre and Zeus, and they killed the tree again. If, if a tree falls in the jungle, does anybody hear it? That's the age-old question. <laughs> One thing that I think uh, HCD doing great in this game is to be aware of Medusa ultimate. That is actually the first time that I see Medusa just clearly hit um, HCD with the uh, stone gate. Yeah, if, if so a tree scouts land. out your Medusa for 40 minutes, does Medusa give a shit? Uh, I don't think so. No, I don't, <laughs> I don't think so think either. So. <laughs> I think uh, Medusa just wants to exist and then the game be the timer, have like a four at the start of it. And then yes, an that's when the game starts. Yeah, something like that. And then run at towers as a moving tower. Mm -hmm. And then the game ends. And she has good secondary cores. Aghanim Scepter, as we mentioned, already completed onto the Necrophos. Radiance completed for this Brewmaster. And Brew is, yeah, this hero is like both utility, kind of utility, but utility. also decent late game. Tanky as well. I mean, a right. lot of the heroes in EVOS are really tanky. I th it's going to reach a point that Sterling Global Dragons are going to run out of damage. And it's like, who do you kill with your damage output? Because it's so limited. Yep. Zeus, like, this is... There's too much for a Zeus. I, this Nimbus is going to be, like, nigh irrelevant. I don't even know who he uses this I Nimbus think, for. like, they, ha they have damage, but it's just like, how do you kill Bru the Brulings? Like, none of their heroes kill Brulings. Uh, the Necrophos. I don't know what what items does he have. He's got the pipe of Blink and uh, Agonim yeah. Scepter, and he's going for BKB. And he's probably going to go for the Magic Resist talent too. So he's very, yeah. very, very tanky. I imagine he's so. Going to have the BKB too. So it's just like it's kind of all in the Bloodseeker. He's buying BKB next though. But this, it's a defensive item. It'll keep him alive. But he really needs to start scaling. BKB doesn't help him scale for later. It just helps him fight now. For who? Bloodseeker. Oh, yeah, yeah. He definitely needs the BKB, though. He needs it, but the thing is that He's what does the BKB scythe. actually do? Uh-oh, Pugna gets spotted by It helps Ogre. him fight now, but not later. Ogre just sitting there waiting on his Fire Blast. Oh, he uses it. He can PP out now? Oh, no. Oh. Very precise. Oh, no. 100 seconds. There we go, Pugna. He's going to go down. There's a team fight, though. Brulings? Brulings? They split. Nasho gets the last hit onto the Vengeful Spirit. Hanwell taking quite a bit of damage from the split shot. He's going to go invis, but the dust is already on him. Oh, he God. will die. Two oh, buybacks come, come out. <laughs> they used Tree Ultimate, actually, so you're fine, Jenkins. Oh, they did? Uh, right. Yeah, they yeah. used it. Uh, Thank God. Pugna What's the status back? on Wait, Rupture? they used Rupture also at some point. Rupture. When the hell did that happen? Rupture was apparently yeah, 30 you know. seconds ago. Oh. It's kind of stacked, man. You know, we don't have a camera, so it's hard yeah. to... It's, it's kind of hard to hear them all. There's a lot of spells. Oh, They're damage sitting on this DD. Oh, oh the Deuce nobody gets Deuce it. gets it. Yes. Oh, this is the worst. Absolute worst. I respect it. If I was Kirito, I'd do the same thing. Still in Kobo Dragon's like, Die. okay, nah, -uh. no, not a double damage Deuce. Nah, -uh. this is BKB used though, but I guess she has Aegis, so it really doesn't matter. Game yeah. is getting pretty hopeless. They hey, the, the Tome of Knowledge, that helps you scale into the late game. It does. Hey, he just got a talent. 25 yeah, life steal, 25 life steal talent, man. Uh, if he lives with just a little bit of HP, yeah. I'm calling you out. A little bit of HP. He took two. Oh, he took both of them? What the hell? <laughs> dude, Tree is like, are you kidding me right now, dude? Thank, man, God, thank God Tree didn't get his be lower cooldown on the ultimate. I don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> I think the main reason I get to low prior is I stole somebody's tome, man. <laughs> oh. yeah. That'll do it. I now got, that you're I've gotten about kicked it. off of teams for that, man. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. It oh happens. my god, it seems like, man, high five. <laughs> yeah. Who'd you steal Same tomes thing. from? Was it your mid, your, your support? Um, I'm not going to steal the beans, spill the beans. You could just say what role. Was it Sammy Boy? Did you steal Sammy, Sammy Boy's rune? I mean, tome? 
I have stolen his tome before and he freaks out. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, where the fuck is my tome? I'm Who bought the tome? I was Pudge. He was Disruptor and he thought he got the tome. Of course he does. Did you have Max Glimpse already? No, you should have. No, you should have. Did you have Max Glimpse? I was Pudge. Dude, you should have played dumb. I think like, Max oh, Glimpse is way more value than whatever the hell so? Pudge. Yeah. I literally took it and then immediately TP'd in and got a double kill with like plus one. Bye, bye. Yeah. But what happened if that didn't? And happen? then after that, he, that's when he said it. It's like, where's my tome? <laughs> like, dude, is a double kill not enough for you? <laughs> he clearly was not okay. No. Oh, Blaichu Blink. still trying to run away. It's just Kirits, though. Blaichu might be able to get out of here. Is that support coming in? I logic. Yeah. Cyclops. Yes, Raptor comes out with the run line and finally turns on the dance, but he himself is stuck in the... Overgrowth comes out onto two. Necrophos and the Vengeful Spirit. Venge stuns the Bloodseeker, has the BKB available. Doesn't look like anything else is happening, thank God for that. Oh no, there's a swap in! The Venge swaps in the Bloodseeker, he has to use the BKB. In comes the split on the bottom end of the fight. The BKB activated by Bloodseeker. They're trying to finish off this Vengeful Spirit. She will die. The BKB duration still lingering. For the Necrophos, he's gonna escape. In the back lines. trying to chase down the Zeus. They have him cycloned up. Dusa, they dispel the magic, bring him down. He's taking quite a bit of damage, and he will die in the end. I actually kind of like that, though. <laughs> I feel like it, yeah, we, we make a good team <laughs> <laughs> in the it's last a, minute. <laughs> it's a relay race. We baton pass it to each other. Yeah. You know, tomorrow it'll be interesting, right? I don't know if I should release the decree. Hey, okay. I, I, I don't I mind want if to, someone does it. I want to ask you guys, what if God's Joy and Jin can leave. What's gonna happen? How it is it different? Oh, it's gonna be like 10 times better. Gods is a nice king. <laughs> I'll say that. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. <yeah. laughs> <laughs> Hong Wall gets the root. Oh, general. Oh, no detection. Okay. Is there sentries? Wow, what a prick. <laughs> he's, just, <laughs> he's just being annoying, I, but he doesn't want to hit iLogic because yeah. he's a bit worried. Although there isn't enough mana the for a oh, yeah, Reaper's he life yet. Yeah. He's not enough mana. The guy very good when walking by the trees, man. You can just go camping with this guy. No, you don't want to go camping with the tree. <laughs> you don't know where he's been. Oh, yeah. Well, the game's managed to drag it out to 30 minutes. Though, though the unfortunate thing is that Sterling Global Dragons aren't leading. It's Evos, and it's Evos with a Dusa. The Dusa is getting really fat. She's at 22k net worth compared to the Brood, the brood Bloodseeker. He's a 17k net worth. Oh, That's just hit me with that I hotkey if you don't mind. I? That's what I like to see. Ah, oh, satisfying. Do you see yeah, it? Yeah, Dusa didn't. Yeah, I, I mean, I could only see it. Dusa is not in any rush. They had the Aegis, they didn't even really do anything with it. The later the game to. goes. Yeah, exactly. There's no stress for the Dusa whatsoever. So this is sort of an issue that you run into when you're up against a Medusa. If you don't play fast enough or if you don't secure enough of the map, she just goes out of control. And especially with the lineup that Evos drafted, it's quite difficult to even engage into them because they've got a lot of disengage. They have good ways of uh, protecting heroes with the swap. The Brewmaster just being annoying by throwing people in the air with the primal split. You're worried about Necrophos. Are we going to see some blood? No, we won't because it's Janual. Janual very rarely dies. Well, actually, he's died six times, never mind. <laughs> he's a pretty dead tree. I actually forgot Medusa was a hero before this game. You mean she's a, she's a creep? Weren't you talking about how you thought hard carries are underrated? Like Spectre and Medusa. They're pretty well. Phantom Lancer. They're pretty well rated. I I Phantom Lancer hasn't been like at all in this tournament yet. We've seen him a bit. In, in NA, it's in very, NA you've very been seeing popular. Them, yeah. NA loves their PL and Spectre still. I don't think we've seen and, a Spectre and here. Yes. Uh, I think we saw one, like one Spectre. Yeah. Uh, was that my pup today? I don't remember. What <laughs> are you doing, Cyclops? Adjust the headset. Sennheiser. Or you <laughs> adjusting <laughs> something else. We'll find out in a minute. We've got a team fight coming in here, I believe. It's going to be... Oh, poor... poor kid. Oh, blink out. Looks like he's going to be okay. Can they can they spot him out? Can they find this tusk? He's just like stay in the trees. Just like HY HY told me. Oh, they got him. Oh, no, Senpai, they found me, Kirit. Oh, oh, he just screwed himself oh even more. Oh, dear. Well, I guess his job at this point. Oh, oh! They have the ward. They can see him. Nice swap. That's Cliff that be bitch. Boom. Oh, my God. Scythe to the fountain. 110 seconds. It did. I suppose it's buying time for his team, but it's like, well, it's also buying time for Medusa. Yeah, no. You. Dude, at this point, Necro's just like doubling your res timer. So 
stupid. Well, I suppose the, the good news is that Zeus is getting closer and closer to his ags. 500 gold away, then the <laughs> Agadims is complete. There's a Zeus in this game. Maybe oh, changes yeah. the flow of the game, you know, you get the... The Tusk Nimbus. almost has as much money as him. Did Tusk go for the gold talent or something? Uh, Tusk went for the gold okay, talent. Did. Okay, that's why he's so rich. But then tell me why Zeus is so poor, that's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't get early eggs, man, he's useless. Is that Rampo just going to try and spot some heroes out? One more minute until Roche, it's going to be cheese. He's going to want to leave that lane soon because the Brewmaster is coming in. Rampo's going to reveal himself and Avil's like, Oh, hey man, I missed you. You'll Clap. sleepy. Oh no, his yeah. TP's on cooldown. Into the split, but he doesn't see Rampo quite yet. He's just burning him. Dispels the magic, but that does not interrupt a TP. That's a wasted split. And yeah. also, the Ags is completed on the Zeus too, so if he died there, that may have delayed it. I, don't, I think he would have bought it in the fountain. I think he had enough. Oh, they see the tree. Oh, genuine. <laughs> Rest in peace. Plant a tree. That was so much damage coming off of Meriza. Only few hits from oh her. Man, and now 40 bloodlust attack speed talent taken on Ogre. She she can it's break her mask of madness mask of now. Madness. Oh, yeah, they're she gonna can spot break Macy. It. They're gonna spot Macy with the Necrophos. No shadow blade. Oh, he blinks oh. out. They waited too long. The logic was not willing to use the scythe just for the stun. A bit greedy there, but yeah. it didn't really matter, I suppose gonna push all these lanes. It looks like for now they're just hoping to stabilize the lanes, make sure nothing's pushed out for Sterling Global Dragons, and then they'll go up high ground. But obviously they is, want is Rush 25? As well. No, not yet. He's 24. He's gonna have a uh, 25 in Agate yeah. or in uh, Octarine soon. Wait, he has the Octarine. Soon. Almost, almost. Almost. Oh, I actually wants to Wait, pick up the tome first. He had the Octarine in his. Oh, uh, okay. Class. Yeah. God, that's like. Five second downtime in assault. Yeah, something. I think it is something like that. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, interesting thing to take note here. Tusk is trying to get an axe, and he's about 500 gold away. Oh yes, the rupture strat. Let's go. That's the way you win this game. I mean, boot him. I mean, it's, it is, it's interesting. I Give them the boot. Will the cheese work? That's the thing. It would be pretty interesting. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna yeah, work yeah. on do so. She has the cheese and the eggs. Oh, I was gonna make that joke. Ah! Too. <laughs> Oh wait, she doesn't have it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Boots of Travels on the Dusa as well. I mean, she can just TP freely into the fight. So if Dusa's buyback, she can just also TP back into the fight. Yeah, Dusa's got buyback. Now, Tusk is going to be sad because Brewmaster is here. Oh, he's actually going to TP to the bottom lane instead. They're going to leave the Tusk. They see Zeus and they see Pugna. Now, Ooh. how good are they at hiding? In comes the Invis Necro. But oh, Thunder God's scouted. Wrath just going to completely foil it. Oh, that was a beautifully timed Thunder God's Wrath. Rampo saving his teammate's life. May still hanging around. If he goes for a creep cut play, that's a hero play. He does. Oh, they might... F actually, no. Sentry. Nah, he's going to go for the next wave. Okay. Oh. Oh, he's creeping. Yes. He's thinking about it. Ah! Hey, Rampo. There we go. Oh, slowly. <laughs> he's, he's so scared. <laughs> he is. I mean, the map is Do pretty it. tough. Do it. Do it. There we go. Keep creep cutting. Oh, dear. Get out of there. Coming. Eye logic's coming. They're coming. This is where you play the, the jaws sound. Play oh, the yeah, jaws yeah, sound. Yeah, yeah, play the jaws sound. Play the jaws. Come on. Oh, dear. Blink. No. He doesn't need it. Come on. Come on, Eye logic. You have one job, Eye logic. Oh, God. <laughs> oh he has a vision oh, advantage. Wait, the vision. Scythe. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he got cast animation canceled. Oh, Lol. God. That was close. Perfect timing. <laughs> Like Cyclops. Ah, oh, that was close there. Ooh, that's a, that's a sick soundtrack. Actually. They want to go on to Logic? Good. Okay, Macy's gonna go in, jumps right on top of Eye Logic. No vision. Th literally no dust, no uh -oh. nothing. Oh, they know oh, it's there TTP's now. Oh, on the Siege Creeps. Cyclops? Uh, and yes. Uh, in him. comes the hey, split. Nastro kicking a lot of damage <laughs> right now. Medusa, <laughs> he's entered the fight fully. Nastro finally manages to kill off the Necrophos. Stone Gaze is used. Macy jumps out after getting Dispel Magic down to the low ground, but does not go far away enough to save his life, and Macy will die. Well, the play happened. The Rapture into Dust Kick. Yeah. And Wait, it did, did it, it really? It did work. They did it the Necrophos. Yeah. Oh, I logic died. Oh, okay. Benny so like Beckham. Yeah. <laughs> There's no buyback on the Necrophos either. There is a buyback on the Pugna. Unfortunately, no Rapture, which is the sad news. 
Yeah, I don't think D Dyer cares whatsoever. They have Aegis available, and... Onto the high ground, you better keep an eye on yourself there, Jenkins. We could see a Overgrowth really soon. Ogre Magi are gonna sacrifice himself to the Radiant squad. Not really the best of plays. Glyph gonna keep the tower alive. Daniel gonna go in. Overgrowth comes out onto the Medusa. BKB in her first life? He does have an Aegis on that Medusa. Two BKBs. Do they want to chase? Is yes, this a they mistake? do want to chase the Medusa. That damage with the Decrepify is absolutely unreal. Now, can they kill Revolution. Medusa a second time? Four stuff out. Do they want to commit? Someone's no. TPing in. It's the tree. This seems like oh, a bad tree's idea. gonna come in for the BS Bop. There we go. Bop's under. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Here comes the primal split, and the Radiant team's like, wait a second. Worth 23k net worth advantage. I mean, disadvantage right now against a uh, Medusa. Let's leave. And here we go, setting up front right once again, ready to go in for more. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice, <laughs> nice. Oh my god, the guy got kicked to the Mars. Wait, where did the illusion go? Oh, I, oh, I saw it. Uh. I mean, the cute plays, are, every time they find someone, pretty they're killing funny. someone I with it. I gotta say, it's pretty so funny. And it's interesting. He took the snowball speed too, so he's just snowballing and kicking and looking <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Honestly, though, it, it is lethal. If they can find heroes with this, they could get some really neat pickups. It seems really good, actually. <laughs> it's working. But it would have been extra if they had the pudge. You hook yep. them in, you kick them off. Okay, so it, it kicks you 1,400, and the move damage is 60%, so you take about 750, 800 pure damage. Total? Yeah, total. It's quite a lot. It is quite yeah, a and lot. And then the kick does 350 damage, the snowball does like oh, 350. That's, true. Yeah. that's a lot of damage. Damn, I was right about that. So it does, four, it does 400, because I, I assume that the you count as an ally? I don't know. What do you mean? Like if Oh, the snowball damage being added up by Alice? Yeah, I just... No, I don't think so. I have, I have no idea. Snowball damage is base based off of... I know it's tusk. 350 damage, though. I know that much with the talent. Yeah. So it's like... Quite a lot of damage. That's my analysis. Medusa has quite a lot of HP, and that's my analysis. Yeah, I can uh, <laughs> I can concur with that sentiment. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> so the next play here for some of these item choices. Nastry is looking to overgrowth comes missile. out on somewhere, but I don't know where because the camera wasn't there. Oh, but it looks like Januel is gonna just die. Don't know what he's doing. That's how it always looks with the tramp protector when they're losing, though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's about right. He's losing the game, I'm losing my mind. Oh, Kiritz, he might run into the entire EVOS lineup. He's gonna back up, play it safe. Although, we have iLogic coming in with his Shadow Blade. Will they find anyone, though? Not really, everyone's in a very defensive posture. Although the Observer Ward towards the south, it may have spotted out the Tusk. And they're gonna try and cut this as well. Oh, here comes iLogic. Oh my seeker. goodness. They didn't get the Bloodseeker. They almost get. They're going to get the Tusk. This is a pretty big kill because they need. Boot that, that man. He, uh. Not really going to do too much when the oh entire no. EVOS lineup no, is here. That's the combo. He needs to buy back. Yep. He's got the buy back. The kick will come off cooldown. I guess that's the good news. So they still have the kick, but if he dies here, it's not going to be good. All right. Your Primal turn. Split comes out. Nether Ward needs to be taken care of. Or Medusa could just straight up ignore it. Rupture it's comes out. Rupture time, and it's time to go in at the kick. Look at that! Oh, damage going! But the, the, the guy that turned on the Black King bar, so he's gonna be fine. It's natural in stage who goes down there. He's still gonna buy black. Buy back. <laughs> <laughs> but the yeah, I'm not sure if you're gonna do so. Overgrowth hey, comes did. out onto the panda. He does not have split for another seven seconds. Swap comes out onto a tusk illusion or something like that. I don't know. I didn't see. Ogre dying, Scythe comes out, doesn't kill the Bloodseeker, Bloodseeker running really quickly, Stun also coming after him, Dude, Venge dies somehow. <laughs> uh, in the trees we have the tree, of course. Alright, Brewmaster has the split, no mana for the split Ooh, though, nice looks shot. like he's about to just die. <laughs> okay. Bye. Well, you must did lose a lot of heroes for that fight, but they technically got what they wanted, the Raxes. Not yeah, too bad. only cost them one buyback though, just a Bloodseeker buyback. That was uh, kind of a disappointing result. I guess they probably sh How was the... Oh right, Brewmaster just didn't have any mana. Yeah, that was uh, very costly that Brewmaster did not have the mana to split. Because yeah, split twice. He, he split the start. Right, and so... He wants to split again, but he was just super oom. 
to Oom. Um. Homie yeah. needs. Uh, Gotta get those clarities. Uh, yeah, or some mangoes or something. Oh, iLogic gonna be hiding in the tree line. No one's gonna suspect this either, so he can just sort of like come out and slice someone if he wanted to. Ooh, right this is risky. Oh, cheeky. That was so entirely unnecessary. I hate it when players do that. I just, oh, I thought I heard rupture. Oh. Yeah, so you should have heard rupture. <laughs> Alright, we've got the entire Radiant lineup. Do you want to push up high ground anymore? They're very indecisive. They're just like, do we want this? No, we don't want this. We want to back off. Yeah, the problem is the Brewmaster buyback can immediately cut off so much. He's going to be able to stun one person with his Earth Panda and then Cyclone another person, and then you're in a very, very poor fight. Oh, oh my the TP's goodness. Top. Destroyed. That's 142 seconds. Oh, That's how absurd it is to just have someone boot the travels on top of your shadow bladed ally. Yeah. 25 on iLogic as well. He gets the plus 0 0.8 heart stopper aura. Yeah, the, the other one sucks. Death pulse useless. I think it's underrated. I think you're underrated. I think Thank it could you. be good. <laughs> you're absolutely right on that, Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he could have already cleared this entire creep wave. <laughs> that would be sick <laughs> if he did that, dude. Yeah, he's against some high HP targets. It's really good. Nastro has 22.5k HP, seeing as how he has the Abyssal Blade and Blacking Bar. And the... The uh, Treant Protector has like 2k HP, so, yeah. I don't know, man. Medusa Scythe of Ice. Oh, yes. She it's has like a Scythe of Ice, that is... She just picked it up as well. Oh. I mean, anyone that she runs into, you just polymorph. Yeah, the only BKB is on Bloodseeker, and his BKB is seven seconds long. Actually, polymorph is wrong, isn't it? Yeah. It's trying to trigger. Polyjuice <sighs> is the potion. Oh, hey, look, they found Trian. He's dead for 99 seconds. My god, Necro late <laughs> game, boys. It's so satisfying, man. All if I swear, if Januel dies again, we'll just never see him. He'll just be back then. <laughs> Hey, can you, can we see the cooldown of that Reaper side? It's on 25 second cooldown. Cyclops are coming in hot. Oh. Here comes the seconds. split. They're just quietly sieging down this tower. No need to commit for anything more. Five Cyclone second down up. time on the brew. Cyclone up the Bloodseeker. Siege down the tower. Nastro can't do anything. Medusa just eats the yeah. Bloodseeker silence and they swap them up. They've, yeah. they've ruptured. She just doesn't. <laughs> She's like, oh cool, you kicked me over to the other tower, I'll start taking rupture, that one. guys, <laughs> it's Cyclops' turn. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He doesn't <laughs> <even> try! <laughs> Alright. Overgrowth comes out, I As don't know well why, I'm casting at the exact same time. Dyer is actually <laughs> very low, if only Bloodseeker was alive, he'd be hella thirsty. There are no creeps in the base, okay, now backdoor protection is now disabled. Well, I admit, I can't even see that rupture in, in, in that point, you know. Zeus gets... Scythe of Vice, and it's looking like a game over. And it would be a 1 1 split if Evos take it. There is another split. I was already casting to begin with, so it doesn't even matter. It sucks to be you. <laughs> 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 Links back, and he's gonna be fine. GG is called. Evos Esports take game two against Sterling Global Dragons. 1 1. Oh. <laughs> I yeah, didn't even yeah, know he yeah. had that sound effect. Team Evos won one, and it went one one. I'll say Sterling Global Dragons. They they drag the game pretty long. Um, unfortunately, dragging it against Medusa. I've had some real beef with item builds in th throughout the duration of this tournament. Yeah, what do you got beef with? The Zeus build. I don't think he should have gone for the Yule Scepter. The game yeah, is tell me more. I thought he should have gone Kaya into Aghanim Scepter. I disagree. I think he should have gone Ether Lens into Aghanim Scepter. I would be okay with that as well. <laughs> I would also be okay with that. But Kaya. we are on the same page that Yules is not the build, though. Correct. Okay. What makes it hard for the Radiant is when... I think the game is pretty v even until we reach a point that Parent Brewmaster is very high level, and he just used that Primal Split to become a beef shield for his teammates like there were so many times that my hero because i was looking at him <laughs> i was i was about to cast my hero cannot go in and use the rupture on anyone because <laughs> of that primal split in front of him aren't you glad that means you didn't have to cast as much 
If the game goes later, Tsunami's like casting 24-7. Oh, no, I kind of disappoint. You know, I want to cast more. You didn't even take the opportunities you were given. There were like 10 ruptures, and you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I was looking at it, but yeah, it's kind of hard for my man, Bloodseeker, to go in and do something. All he can do is just setting up the blood right and hope that the formations of Team Evil is just going to split out so he can just go in and kill it one by one. But it's it. I think that Perrin Brewmaster is just a right pick for them. The 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 Tusk Bloodseeker combo looked pretty cool in the late game, but it's pretty <laughs> cheeky. It's like it doesn't <laughs> really matter because by the time your Tusk gets a an Aghanim Scepter, you are you already lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, yeah. No, not just that though. I mean, like it was it was a cool idea, but you don't do it on a Medusa. <laughs> Definitely Which doesn't do anything. Way too Not much. in the late game, maybe in the early game, but in the early game, like when's a tusk gonna have eggs? You know, never. Yeah, Medusa was a fantastic last pick. A lot of draft victories today, both with the Tiger series, this series. I love it, man. I love the cheese last picks. Yeah, they're taking <laughs> advantage of it. It's it's just it's just so powerful. It's just too powerful. Something. <laughs> Thanks, Cyclops. <laughs> I appreciate that, dog. He just likes pressing the one button. <laughs> <laughs> Something needs to be done about the last pick for sure. <laughs> at at least at least in pubs. At least in pubs. Did you like CCNC's suggestion of getting like one more band before the last pick or something like that? I do that? like that. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. Like yeah. Think do you think cool. we're ready for another band? Well, it would just be a reordering of the bands, I think. How would you, you reorder want, it? Or you want seven bands in pubs? W well, in pubs you only get to band two heroes at the beginning or whatever, right? Right. He his suggestion was that you. Oh, you get one band phase pick, at the beginning. You get to ban so then there are eight picks, and then there's another band phase, and then there are two right. picks. Okay, so. His suggestion was like, you get. Oh, wait, how would that work? I don't remember what his suggestion was, because I was thinking the mid gets to ban the. Yeah. The other. The, there are two. The, what, the initial band phase, like it already is, then eight people pick their heroes, alternating or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then there's another band phase, and then the last two people pick their heroes. Oh, right, oh, right, because. Okay, I, I got you. Yeah. So it, presumably the mids would get the last bands because they Ideal. get the last picks. Right. right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, I got it. But anyway. in captain's mode, you're content with it right now? You think that this sort of stuff should uh, be allowed? I, I have no idea. I feel like I feel like there just needs to be some sort of like nerf or counter to the cheese picks. It's just too good. Every single pub in every single game is just last picking a hero that cannot be dealt with. <laughs> and uh, it's not that it's not entertaining. Believe me, I love Brood. I play a lot of Broodmother. But, uh, you know, it just comes to a point in Dota where something needs to change because we want to see something different, and then maybe it'll go back to this and we'll be happy about it. But it's just all about that change. Dota's about each patch of the game just changes so much to, to be something else. It's what keeps it fresh. It's definitely about that time, I think. Yeah. You know what else it's about time for? I know. What time is Some it? Some execution. By my decree. <sighs> Cyclops is like, damn. Do we damn. have a verdict? I'm oh, do we have an interview? Maybe. Do we have an interview? No, no interview. interview. Okay. Uh, Josie, do we have Death. a verdict? Oh, oh you right. guys did it! Good Jeremy night. gets to die. Nice. <laughs> yes. What a nice going away gift this is for me. That's great. Jeremy, yeah, he can must have missed a ahead. lot of actions today. Like, uh, <laughs> see it forward. <laughs> just going to go right in front of the camera. Too, uh, right? Go That's ahead. Go ahead. Step right up. Let's Play. see him. Let's see him walk in front of the camera. All right, get in. Mm -hmm. Mr. Tintuos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there he is. Actually, we should like sing for him as in well. In his full glory. All right, All right, you gotta tell us your last words. They will appear on the screen in the form of the names of the subscribers who have sentenced you to death. Don't look at me. Look at the TV. Cyclops. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Uh, beastly Hex. Narrow Stream, Nero Stream, 001. Toilet <laughs> Duck, 91. That's a good name. Papa Kush 420. Papa Kush 420 did it? Fierce Alchemist. Not Dota Alchemist. Or Dota Alchemist. Hell yeah, dude, shout out. Bertlet, shout out to um, Dota Alchemist. Saucy Doge. Uh, Blamco Mac, nice Fallout reference. Uh, Colvini, Jed underscore SSB, Fenris underscore. Yeah, we raked him in today. 
Today was a good day. Oh, never mind. Oh, there we go. But not That's for Jeremy. It. Today was a bad day for Jeremy. The I die before I get All right. By my decree, we will execute Young Jay. That's it. Sennheiser and Lord Mobile for being sponsors and partners of Beyond the Summit. We'll see you tomorrow for some SEA Dota action. Good night, everybody. <laughs>